I'm now talking to Paul Marges, who is the CEO of Panasonic Aero Avionics. And Mr. Marges, perhaps you can share some thoughts with us. With Flynet being launched today, and it's very exciting, and everybody around us in the cabin, now just do a quick scan. There's a lot of activity in the cabin. In the, there's a whole other aspect to the service, isn't there, for an airline, like the operational aspects as opposed to the customer side of the business. Absolutely. I, I think, you know, I would look at it as, as the, what you see in the cabin is really the tip of the iceberg. I think, I think a connected airplane and, and the, the more bandwidth and the less expansive bandwidth you have, the more opportunity you have to, to improve your operational efficiencies and to bring a better overall product to the passengers. So from, from an, an, avi, an avionics standpoint, whether it's electronic flight bag, engine telemetry, all our opportunity spaces for getting more, faster data, and, uh, and we've seen you know, a great interest in, in the marketplace for that. But when you talk about telemetry, that's obviously a huge thing for, for the airline industry. How much bandwidth does telemetry really well, it, use? It's, it, today, it's, it, it runs over very narrow pipes. Today, you know, it runs over an ACAR, SATCOM link, and they'll take samplings of, of, of data, say engine data. Um, with, with, the, with the higher bandwidth pipe, um, there's an opportunity to do much more. And I'm not an engine guy, so I, I, I know that, there, that, that there's been interest, in, and there are companies working on on kind of a, a, adapter boxes that will, will hook to an IP interface. We, we tunnel the data and, uh, and they consume it and, and right. process it. Um, for me, one of the main reasons that, that, that we got into the connectivity area was in support of IFE systems. So the cabin side, having you know the ability to, to connect to a system on the airplane, and these systems have become you know, extremely complex and just the, the quantity of users, the expectations of the capabilities of them, and the, the dissatisfaction level, if anything goes wrong, that, that the ability to have real-time monitoring and have support on the ground side that, that actually is monitoring the airplanes in real time. So rather than the flight crew trying to service and, and, and fix, especially a software issue, you know, resetting a seat, you can look from the ground, you can not just see what's going on and sample it, um, you can actually do some, some service actions or predict the service actions so that the next maintenance line station knows, you know, very precisely what actions it might need to take as opposed to waiting for the airline to land or, or getting a very, very small snapshot of the data. So for us, that that is that that is one of the big drivers to be in the, the in this business. Uh, I think the next uh, opportunity is, is, is really somewhat passenger-centric in that connecting an, inter an embedded entertainment system to the ground gives the airline really the ability to kind of control the window in, in almost real time for what the pastor sees. So rather than having, say, monthly updates as they do for movies and stuff traditionally today, you can have some things changing and being, being tailored, you know, instantaneously. Right. The, the, I think that just like one last question, we could just talk about this briefly, is the ability of a connected airplane or an airline with a connected airplane to undertake service recovery. For example, our flight today, we were hammered with a lot of snow in Europe, so we lost 90 minutes. There are people making connections, you and I amongst them, to, the, to California today from New York. Potential for recovery using oh. assist, the service recovery I, is really huge. I think I think it is. I think that you know, airlines are pretty sophisticated in doing that today in very low bandwidth means, usually manually through the crew. The ability for potentially a passenger to be directly interfacing to the ground Without the crew necessarily have to be too much involved, um, I think really gets you, you know, somewhat of a parallelism. So it, it's like concurrent processing. It, it, it gets you the ability to handle a larger amount of, of activity and, and also give the, 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 the passengers more of a feeling of, of self-determinism that you can be doing things on your own without having to necessarily work to the crew. Now the airlines are going to have their own. I mean, they, they want the crew to, to be involved in, in service. So. I'll leave that to them to right. discuss how they will implement it, but but I think you're right. I think there's there's a lot of opportunity there to to improve a lot of those factors and to make people feel more comfortable in, in just the knowledge of what's going on and not you know be be trying to figure out you know are they going to figure it out for me when I hit the ground or not? You know, right. kind of be seeing more live status and things like that. Thank you so much. You're welcome.